Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So this morning I wanted to do a get ready with me using only products from my very favorite makeup brand, It Cosmetics. So first up for foundation, I love to use their CC Plus Cream. I'm in the shade Light right now, which is the darker shade that I use when I'm even more fair than I currently am. If you can even imagine, I'll use the shade Fair. And then the brush is Heavenly Lux Complexion Perfection. Um, so it's got this end, which I use on my face, and then I'll use this end for concealer. Got my headband. Get the hair out of the face. So I typically just do one pump, and then I just dot it around my face, forehead. and blend it in. And the reason that I love this um, as an everyday foundation is that it's SPS 50 plus. Um, it's very lightweight. It feels like you're not wearing anything at all. And a lot of days I don't even wear makeup, so when I do wear makeup, I definitely don't want to feel it on my face or anything. So this definitely, um, it's it's really good for your skin, I feel like. It, it improves your skin, if anything, um, even after you take it off. So it's a really great foundation. Today I'm going to use the Bye Bye Under Eye Illuminator Concealer, also in the shade Light. Now, this stuff is... Not always what I use every day, but I'm using it today since I'm only using It Cosmetics products. And I will use this on like special occasions, but it's just a little bit hard to work with. So basically, what I do is just squeeze out the tiniest amount. Like you can't even see how much I just squeezed out because it's so small. And then I work it with my fingers. I just tap it a bunch to just warm it up and get it more usable because it's a little bit sticky and then I actually just use my fingers I have a mirror down here and when you're doing anything with your under eye um, use your ring finger because it's very weak and so you're not going to damage the sensitive skin under your eye if you use your ring finger Okay, so now I have it kind of um, rubbed in and I'll go in with the other end of this Heavenly Complexion brush and just blend it out a little bit. And then I just kind of sweep like this just to make sure I don't have too much excess product on there. Okay, and now that is it for the base. So with this Bye Bye Under Eye Concealer, you have to use a very, very small amount. If you use too much, it's going to get all cakey and you're going to see it settle into fine lines under your eyes, which is terrible. You're better off not wearing concealer than wearing concealer that's settling into those fine lines. So just be very careful when you use that. For the face, I'm using the Je ne sais quoi face palette, um, which I use every single day. I love this palette so much. It's got a huge mirror um, on it, which is super nice. Um, and then you've got the Bye Bye Pores Pressed Translucent Powder, the Bye Bye Pores Blush in the shade Je ne sais quoi, the um, Sunshine in a Compact Bronzer in shade Warmth, and the Perfect Lighting Luminizer, also in the shade Je ne sais quoi. So, it's literally everything you need all in one and they're all beautiful, beautiful products. So I start off with the translucent powder underneath my eyes and this powder, it really softens everything. I love it. So I don't know if you can see a difference between the two, but it just kind of blurs everything. And this brush is by Real Techniques. I don't have a good It Cosmetics brush for setting my under eye. Just kind of put the extra on my nose and sometimes I even put a little along my 
chin because I tend to touch my chin a lot throughout the day and it kind of rubs my makeup off. So if I do that, it helps it to stay. So after I do that, I go in with a different Heavenly Lux angled radiance brush and I just swirl it in the bronzer and I do a little contouring action typically. So I just start in that natural kind of crevice on your face and I like to blend it up so that it's not too harsh because I'm just going to work. I'm not going to a uh, like red carpet event. <laughs> So once I do that, I just take a little bit more um, and I just put it on my temple, I guess. Is that my temple? Kind of the side of my face. So I have, I feel like I have a lot here. I guess my hairline is kind of back. And then I just do a little bit extra on the hairline just to blend it out a little. On the chin, there's really not a lot of product on my brush at this point, so I'm just blending out with whatever's remaining. Okay, time for blush. So this is the Chic Blush Brush by It Cosmetics. This was in one of their holiday brush bundles, which I would highly recommend looking for stuff. The holiday packages, I know it's a long way off, but they really are great. Um, so I just get a little bit of blush. The thing that I love about this blush is it's not too pigmented, so it's not going to make it look like you have these really bright cheeks, which I have very pronounced cheeks, and I also um, get a lot of like flush in my cheeks throughout the day, so I don't need a lot of blush, just enough to kind of bring back whatever the foundation um, camouflage is. So I usually just smile and... Just rub it on the apples of my cheeks and then bring it up a little bit. And then I go with all my nose and chin just with whatever's left. And then lastly we're going to do the highlight with just this e.l.f. highlighting brush. Now this highlight, it is absolutely beautiful. I'm not one to love the highlights that are just going to make you look like you're from outer space. This one looks truly like you're glowing from within, which I hear people say and sounds ridiculous, but it truly does look like it's just your natural glow, which is just amazing and it's beautiful. So hopefully the camera picks it up. So I just uh, put it on the top of my cheekbones and then on the apples on my cheeks and then I bring it up along the side just a little bit. Yeah, so you can really see it's just very subtle. It looks very natural, but it definitely looks like you have a highlight on. And then I like to just do a tiny like tap and run it under my eyes just to brighten up that area because I have really dark circles under my eyes so I like to brighten it up as much as I can. So now I'm going to move on to the brows. Um, I use the Brow Power A Cosmetics pencil. Um, it's a universal shade and it works for me. If you have really light eyebrows, I don't think it'll be as universal, <laughs> um, but it, it works perfectly for me. So one end is a spoolie and one end is the product. So it's very convenient. So I just brush out my eyebrows. And as you can see, I have pretty significant uh, natural lashes, or not lashes, <laughs> eyebrows. And so I don't do a lot of filling in. I don't do what you, what I call makeup artist eyebrows because I think those look ridiculous and I hate when people say, Oh, you just want it to look natural. It does not look natural to have that sculpted of a brow. I'm sorry. So I just fill in the spots where naturally the hairs are kind of thin. Um, I don't like overline my brows to make them bigger because I think they're already thick enough. So 
I'm just gonna grab my mirror here so that I can get a closer up view of what I'm doing. So brows are done. As you can see, they really are not that different, um, just a little bit more poised. So for lips, again, kind of like my cheeks, I have naturally pigmented lips, so I don't I also have very dry lips, so I don't like to use lipstick. Um, it's just very drying, it settles into all these fine lines, it doesn't look good on me. So I love this IT Cosmetics Vitality Lip and Cheek Flush. Um, it comes like this, and you just roll it up. It, it looks white, um, but when you put it on, I've never used it on my cheeks, I only use it on my lips and it just kind of amplifies what you've already got going on. So it's really great for, um, it's kind of like a chapstick, I guess, because it's very moisturizing and hydrating and it feels nice on the lips and it does give you just that little oomph, that little something extra. So it just gives your lips a little bit of a glossy look, um, kind of amplifies, brings them to life hydrates them so that the color is uh, really popping. So next what I do is the last step before I do my mascara and that is makeup setting spray. So this is the Maybelline Master Fix makeup setting spray. It's about seven to ten dollars depending on where you get it and it works really well. It makes you feel like your makeup is gonna stay on and not just rub off the second you touch your face. So I like to do this before mascara because I find that if I do mascara first, I end up with mascara all around my eye and looking like a little bit like a raccoon. So it feels so good too in the morning. It kind of wakes you up, gets you ready for the day. So now I'm just going to curl my lashes. I've just got this lash curler from e.l.f. It's the one that has the spring in it and I feel like it works so much better than the kind that doesn't have the spring in it. So I'm gonna use my mirror again so that I don't rip my eyelashes out of my face. Okay, and now the lashes are curled. I don't know if you can even tell the difference. But for mascara today, we're going to use the IT Cosmetics Superhero Mascara. And I do have a full size of this, but I just don't want to open it until I use up the travel size that I got first. Um, because, you know, mascara does not last that long, so why waste it? So it's got a pretty big brush on it, um, which I kind of like a smaller brush for my mascara so that I can get more detailed. But this one, um, it does give you a lot of volume, and so it's really great for that. So I use this on my upper and lower lashes and I don't even dip it back in because kind of like the Bye Bye Under Eye Concealer, it, um, it's a very wet formula and so you don't need to have a lot of product on your brush. You just want it, or at least I like more of a dry um, mascara. So there you have it, that's my everyday look using just IT Cosmetics products. Most of those products I do actually use every single day. A few of them, like I mentioned, I don't always use, but um, for the purposes of this video, I wanted to use them. So I hope you enjoyed and I hope you learned a little bit about IT Cosmetics products. And let me know in the comments below if you have any questions about anything. I will also link all of the products that I use in the description box below. So if you want to check anything out, go ahead and click down there. Thanks for watching.